Good morning everybody, how is going today? The time is 10.41, we dropped down to 80% last night which is normal um, and these batteries recover so quick my god they recover quick right, people. So we had a look at this mornings and here it is 2.40 because we've just finished some work outside and we got actually got full just shortly after 11 all right and the batteries are chocolate block full um this is the victor i'm seeing you see this and i've got it set in the settings i've got it set right okay uh, 500 amp hour 57.6 charge voltage tail current the tail current might be wrong because there is no tail current on these things but anyway um, and current threshold is probably wrong but it says it's 100% full alright but it, here it says it's 99.8 and it should be 100 alright so while we've got no power no current or power going in or out okay I'm just going to go in here and uh, I mean it's just uh, a little bit out I'm going to synchronize it and then I'm going to calibrate it again but it's just it's not liking the lithium batteries at all which is another reason this Victron smart shunt I don't I mean yeah I'm not sure how accurate they are but unless my settings are wrong then it's wrong all right so we're outside again beautiful day beautiful day and even the missus veggies are liking it i'm not sure what she's got growing down there but they look like they're enjoying it it's been raining it was even raining earlier on today okay so what we've done in the over here now um because I'm going to high volts now on my solar, like 300 DC plus. Okay, I've got to get an electrician in to do all that work. And I've also got to get an electrician in to connect this inverter, okay, to uh, AC. So it'll be the same electrician that does all that. But we've lined this cupboard up, basically separated the two sides with a bit of... Um, one inch compressed fibre cement that also happens to have a fire rating of 800 degrees C for one hour okay but it looks it looks a lot nice and neat in there now let me step back a bit okay because I couldn't do down here because that's where my bus bars are so what we're going to do is we're going to mount the new inverter in here okay uh, and we're going to run the generator wire in here and the ac out to the house which means people which means every single thing in here is getting decommissioned after that's all done like he'll already take the, the ac wiring away and then i'll decommission all the dc wiring the whole lot that comes into here and all this gear all has to go all this gear because it's all low volt and it no longer matches the high volts of my solar panel panels um, this should make it a bit more efficient hopefully and, and plus it gets extremely hot in there in summer so um, this this cupboard is already insulated as you can see and this is fire rated as well this stuff and it's everywhere in here it's all over the place in here um under there as well it's everywhere so 
Um, this should stay nice and cool in here. Uh, the batteries and the inverter should love it long time. I've got to work out venting yet. I haven't got that far. Um, basically, we put a new floor in, as you can see, on top of the other one. And that's on uh, patio tube. The same patio tube I've got up there on my patio. Um, underneath there is the original floor, which is sheet metal. And between here, the original floor, and here, you can see that um, red foam sticking out there. Here, over there. Um, that's uh, fire resistant spray foam, and it's got a five hour rating. If you remember when I did put all that in, um, not that I'm expecting a fire because these batteries are incredibly safe. They've got temperature sensors all over them. They've got an excellent uh, BMS. Anything goes wrong at all, and they'll just shut down. That's it, you know. And um, Then I ring George and we'll hook a cable up and diagnose the problem. But yeah, so it's, it looks pretty good. I, I reckon Ziggy and I did a marvellous job putting that in. I mean, it's uh, it's just a strap together cabinet, so nothing lines up too well. But still, you know, it's a, it's good enough, people. It's good enough for the bush, eh? Or as they say, good enough for a government job. Even though it's not for the government. All right. There's an update for you. Uh, the inverter should be here Monday or Tuesday. Miss and Mrs. did some washing today. The inverter should be here Monday and Tuesday, Monday or Tuesday. I will do a, um, I will do an update on that when it gets here. But there's the cabinet, people. It, it turned out mighty fine looking, I reckon. Mighty fine. Keep safe, everyone. Uh, please remember to uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to follow this project. And if you could, uh, give it a like or uh, a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And please comment, even if it's just to leave an emoji, because uh, it really helps my, co my uh, videos. It really, really helps my channel grow. Okay, thank you very much. Bye for now.